Hi all, so today in this video we will be seeing a very quick topic like how we can refresh the browser page, right? So many times it is required to, we need need some requirement to refresh the page. So we normally what we do like click on the um, refresh icon or we can click press the F5 button, right? So how we can do it using Playwright, that will be done here. So let's do that. So let me create one file. So it is, uh, let's remain, name it as with test, refresh. Okay, and now uh, let's define a method test, refresh. Method. Okay, so here um, we need to uh, give the page, right? So page on page and we are using the arrow pointers from none this one and here uh, from playwright dot in api import page right so here we'll be writing our test that is first thing is the page dot go to so we are going to amazon.com so enter amazon.com and or maybe amazon.in so next we are uh, we are giving some pause so let's give a delay so for that uh, what we can do is like we can write time dot sleep so time dot sleep uh, five seconds so uh, what do you want i want to load it completely and we need to see like it is refreshing the page right so after that what we will be doing will be page dot reload so this reload is taking some parameters if you see so Yeah, so as you can see, it's taking self first parameter, next parameter is timeout optional, and wait until these are the methods it is taking. Okay, so I um, mean, we can give some wait until the network ID or something like that, also, we can provide some timeout. Okay, so maximum operation time in milliseconds, default is 30 seconds. Okay, so the default value can be changed by using the browser context, and that's it okay and uh, next um, wait until so basically timeout you need to give if you think like uh, your there there can be a chance of timeout so you can give a timeout of 15 seconds maybe so that would be like uh, or maybe default is already 30 seconds timeout so if you need to increase it to 60 seconds uh, that would be uh, like i mean you can as it, as it can say as, as it is saying like pass zero to disable it so that means if you want to disable this timeout then you have to pass it at zero and default can be changed by using this browser context okay so let it be like that and if you do not want uh, any timeout then you can pass like timeout equals to zero that means we are disabling the timeout so let's first try this one and next we can try without giving this Okay, so let's give it another slip of five seconds. Okay, now let's run it. So by test, and then we will be writing basics, and we will be going to the test refresh. Yeah, this one, and then you have to put this hidden because we want to see the browser. In, browser is opening. And hit again. Let's see, is it working or oh, not? Yeah, it collected one items and it closed. So let's see the problem. Uh, navigating to Amazon dot in, waiting until load. Okay. So probably we need to keep the full URL. So let's see Amazon. Okay. 
and let's copy it. So now if I run it, let's see. Yeah, it's opening and it will wait for five seconds and it's a refresh. Yes, it refreshed, right? Okay, so it will wait for five more seconds and it will close. Yes. It's it's done. I mean it's working correctly, right? So this timeout equals to zero is also working. So basically it is required in case there is some kind of uh, like delay is happening or taking some time to reload properly. Maybe I'm not sure exactly uh, in which situation you can use, but yeah. If you do not need it, you can disable it like this way. And if you need some timeout, so uh, you can give give it so basically like uh, in other cases like if you are passing in timeouts in other locators like send keys or field button then in that case it will wait till that element is interacting or before throwing some exception it will wait here also if this is the same thing I and mean, if this reload is not working properly then it will wait till that timeout okay so that timeout should be if it is 30 seconds then it will wait till 30 seconds in that within that time if it is able to do that reload or if you do the refresh it will do it otherwise it will fail simply so yeah so hope you understood and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe